It's a virus I'll never get rid of. I can't get rid of it. I have to do it. If I don't do it, I don't feel happy. So that's what I love doing. My name is Matt Jackson and I'm a graffiti artist. You know, I was a private school kid. Uh, parents sent me to public school. And uh, this kid to the right of me is drawing. And I look over his shoulder, I'm like, what's that? And he was like, graffiti. And uh, ever since then, catching myself in an alleyway running from the police. I did a graffiti concept demo for Tor Surfboards. I ordered the surfboard and pretty much had fun with it, putting my inspirations on the board. And it's those inspirations that it's a constant reminder of where I've been and, and where I'm going. I, I've never lost my place as far as my roots. And every, every day I go surfing or every day I'm in that water, it's a constant reminder of where I've been as an artist. A lot of my art is based off my emotions, depending on how I feel that day or, or what's on my mind. That's the only way I feel like I can express it. And eventually after you hold so much in, you have to let it go. Uh, I remember back in 2009, my mom got the phone call and it was the police saying, Matt has 24 hours to turn himself in and we're coming to get him. And that's when I knew graffiti was the best thing that's ever happened to me and the worst thing. It got me in a lot of trouble, but it also saved me from a lot of trouble. And I have to respect it because that's where I'm at now. It's the guys that inspired me to do graffiti. It's, you look at MSK's work, you look at all those guys, and they're not, they're not, they're still doing graffiti, but it's, it's to an, an abstract art form now. And you see these guys who were on the street like me, that are now they're up in the galleries. And that gallery is keeping them level-headed. They're getting paid for what they love to do. I'm getting paid for what I love to do. But it's, it's me taking my graffiti to the next level as far as abstract forms. And I mean, you look at my work way back in the day of what's left of it to where it is now, and it's, it's a complete 180. It's fine art now. It's still graffiti, but it's fine art. And then I love it so much. It's something that you love is unconditional that you pick it back up and graffiti is just something I can't let go.